Hey y'all, it's Jonathan Scroggs here. I am uh, bored. My wife was gone today, so um, I love to experiment and cook and, and make things. I used to do it all the time with my precious mama. Uh, and so this, this all started tonight, being alone and not having someone to talk sense into me. I started craving Aunt Annie's sweet caramel almond pretzel. I don't know if y'all have ever been to Aunt Annie's before. I happen to have one of their sauces here. Caramel sauce. But my my amazing wife got me a um, bread bread machine. It's right there. Sorry, it's hard to do backwards. Um, but it was going to take a couple hours to come up with some dough. So it made me think. I remembered, because Thanksgiving was not too long ago, I had this bag of... You can see how small they are. They start out... Just that big. They're supposed to be dinner rolls. But I learned that if you let them dudes rise a little longer than normal, you uh, go ahead and uh, roll it out into uh, about the size of your, your pinky or whatever. I'm making them a little smaller than Aunt Annie's does. Um, but it just takes two twists up here at the top. For a pretzel and uh, after the two, two sorry I forgot to look up after the two twists it's hard to do up in the air I've been doing them on the counter but after the two twists and then you pinch them where they go there and you got yourself the pretzel the basic pretzel shape um, that you see in Annie's when they bake it but here's here's what turns these uh, dough balls from dinner rolls into pretzels. You take three cups of hot water and one third cup of baking soda and you make yourself a brine solution. Uh, brine solution. Some pretzels are made by uh, coating the outside of the bread with uh, egg. Uh, some people use just egg white. Some people mix the whole egg. But anyway, the brine solution soaks on the dough and then since I want the um, sweet, armal, sweet caramel almond, um, I found the secret recipe. They mix a little bit of brown sugar into their crushed almonds. Um, normally, you would just brush uh, the butter onto the pretzel. But since I'm in a little bit of a hurry here, um, I just decided to dip it. I've got melted butter there on my counter. And then this is just a mixture of... Some brown sugar, crushed almonds. Um, if you'd like, where the, you can twist pepperonis into these things. Um, and Annie sells them all different ways there at their stores. They sell them with jalapeno, uh, cheddar jalapeno, uh, sweet almond. They've got normal salted pretzels. And then they've got um, pizza pretzels, pretzel bites, things like that. But anyway, using that almond mixture there, y'all can see I have just turned frozen dinner rolls into Aunt Annie's pretzels. Throw them in the oven. You're going to want them in there. A total of 10 minutes is what I've been averaging at 400 degrees. Um, but I've noticed about halfway through, it's best to spin that um, baking sheet around so that uh, it bakes evenly because you want to turn them, uh, you want to bake them, you want to get them dark. My first batch was kind of a botch. My wife is going to love these. This was before the, the brown sugar. And like I said, I was experimenting. So these, I forgot to do the almonds before I baked them. So I had these baked, did the butter glaze and then almonds and they just didn't turn out quite as good. But then I mastered it when I figured it out. Brine, let it drip dry a little bit, then butter, then crushed almonds. I literally just got these at a, at a typical grocery store. And I crushed them up a little better than, than what they came. And then just normal, normal stick of, of butter melted into this bowl. And then that solution. And I tell you what, it, it's made a, a, a pretty amazing pretzel. Uh, so something you can do with your kids, something that 
you can have a lot of fun with uh, and make an awesome mess. Hey, and, and don't freak out. Messes are, are supposed to be made so that you can make memories with the family and friends. When my wife gets home tonight, she's going to have a whole variety of homemade pretzels that she's going to get to taste test and try out. Anyway, if you love uh, our goofy stuff, we do videos. We do gospel music every Wednesday night. Uh, from 8 to 10 Central Time, you can request your favorite songs, hymnals, worship, uh, Southern Gospel, Black Gospel. We love it all. If it's gospel, we love it. If it's family friendly, we love it. Um, we've even had people request Disney songs and What a Wonderful World. And So as long as it's family friendly and, and uh, we're all about it. But then for fun, my wife made a crazy channel on YouTube called The Modern Day MacGyver. And she... Post some of my silly videos, ghetto chef cooking stuff and uh, home repairs, repairs on vehicles, trailers, whatever I'm working on. And she'll record and throw on there. But then our serious, our ministry channel is Jonathan Scroggs Music on YouTube. And uh, that's where we can share a lot of our ministry stuff. And also on Facebook, The Remnant Rising is our ministry group on Facebook. But anyway, just having fun tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. Wanted to get a laugh. And uh, entertain some folks. But now I've got some fresh, warm Anne Annie's pretzels coming out of the oven. So y'all got to get out of here. I love y'all. Spread some love.